welcome to this tutorial we're going to treat how to make petticoat with boning so this um, strip of boning that I got is about six to seven yards of which I won't be using the whole of it because of the size of what I'm making the short petticoat so setting that aside we're going to cut a piece of taffeta I will be using to attach a boning in so it depends on how wide you want it to be or how big you want your petticoat to be so if you want it on the larger side you can make it make this fabric to be times four of your hip times four of the hip I am using times two and a half here I want it on the average if you want it on the average you times two and a half or times three you can also exceed times four if you want so you just have to have enough boning to go through the fabric so I already cut out one strip I'm measuring now this is one times two then about an half there then we're going to cut another strip similar to the one we just have so i cut out similar ones and now we're going to join them so you join your strips together if you have more than one so after joining them you're going to put the two of them together the first one and the second one you're going to do them back side facing back side and you pin it down and pin it down after pinning down you're going to mark the point where we're going to be stitching down so you can see my tape I marked about one inch for this down seam so you mark so I'm trying to divide them three inches apart from each other so I mark three inches apart the lines will be three inches apart from each other after the waist line so we're going to mark three inches all the way to the down three inches apart from each other so you can see I didn't repeat the upper side because it's the line is the, is the waist side that's where the waist rope will be going through at the time we're done so i've ruled the line this is what i have so the next thing we're going to do now is to start sewing so as you so before you sew you're going to sew about three inches before after the line three to four inches after your the end of your line and you're not sewing on the line into sewing you're going to be sewing beside the line like so so you're making double stitch beside each line each line is going to have a stitch by its left and its right so making the line to stay in the center so by the time we put our bone in to hold and stay in place so that's how we're going to keep going for all of them so you're going to keep going like that for all of them so before you end you're going to stop about four inches also like you started then when we're done this is what you're going to have something like this so we're going to close the edge of the seams now 
so if you don't have equal part you trim the edges just trim them so that they will be equal so i fold the i i i i, I put the two pieces together so having four then remove the upper one that i'm starting from beneath the one beneath the two pieces beneath that's what i'm starting from so you can stitch it down all the way down so when you're done stitching you're going to stitch the upper one inside so the seam doesn't show stitch it inside like this so when you take it inside you draw it out and stitch so we'll take it to the machine now and we're going to stitch all the way down so as you're stitching you'll be pulling it out you know this the the piece of it are inside so you're going to be pulling it out after pulling out you stitch down keep stitching until you get to the edge so when we're done we're going to have something like this when you turn it out we're going to have something like this I see the seams are inside so you trim off every excess of your seams after trimming we're going to stitch we're going to continue our our stitch that's the stitch where our boning is going to be we're going to complete it for this point so you continue like that for all of them so when we're done we're going to have a complete stitch and complete line so i have about four lines you can make yours up to five if you have a longer petticoat so now i'm going to fold the upper edge this upper edge is where the rope is going to pass through or elastic if you're using elastic so you can decide to pin down first you pin everything down first before stitching but you can still stitch immediately as your as you're sewing as you're sewing you can just arrange it and keep going like that so we're going to start stitching now so you stitch at the edge as you take the seams inside stitch by the edge like this take the seams inside the stitch by the edge so when you're done you have something like this do the same thing for the other side then at the waist the edge of the the waist we're going to sew about one inch Stitch there we're going to give that place about one inch stitch so that stitch now will hold our band in place when we put it or our elastic if you're using an elastic band so when we're done you're going to have something like this so we're sewing our rope now and when you're done it's something like that so going to our table we're going to start attaching our boning now so the first thing you're going to do is to cut open some spots if you have a if you have a zigzag machine you can make a zigzag um, stitch beside these seams before joining the dress the pieces the two pieces together so that you can have a hole to insert it to insert your boning so that's why we did something like that so when you're done opening the points you measure the down part whatever you have at that down part you're going to cut it out from our boning 
so I have 55 so I'm going to reduce it by 2 inches I'm reducing it by 2 inches just for the downside every other one I'm going to cut to be exact amount so you're going to push it inside so like so keep going down keep pushing it inside so it comes to this other side so when you're done you're going to have something like that so the edge now we're going to close the edge so when you pull it out make sure it is set and not turned somewhere inside so you're going to get your candle and matches and some water in a bowl I've light my candle so you wet your fingers around your finger side so the next thing you're going to do now is to burn the tips like this you can see how I pulled out the burning so you burn the tips like that and because your hands are wet you'll be able to touch them like the way I'm doing now so you just hold it in place for about 30 seconds you hold it in place for well, until it's in until it can't pull out that's until it's cold so you can still burn the edges if you have sharp edges around there burn it and smoothen it out so you're going to have something like that so i'm doing the back now smoothening the back So you can see it's in place now. So when you're done, you're going to pull it in. So in pulling it in, make sure the burnt edge enters into the hole first. Then you have it. I'm done with the first circle so from that measurement now we'll be reducing each other we'll be reducing it by 10 in each loop so the second loop now we're going to measure we're going to measure uh 45 no more 55 we started with 55 so cut at 45 on the dot now sometimes when you cut the 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 boning it will have sharp edges and you may find it difficult putting it into the to the holes so you can use your cello tape and come at the edge there so as to make it pass easier or easily so when you gum the tip like that with a solid tape, you can easily go through the holes or the loop without the edges causing a hold up or something on the way. So we're going to keep moving in like that. So there are some loop, some areas that have tight. My stitches are tighter than my stitches are closer rather so I have to use all my energy to pull them in until we are out so when you're done you make sure there's no bent it's not bent somewhere so you straighten it out by pulling the fabric so when you're done with that you take it out if it if it entered in you take it out so we're going to light our candle again we're going to light the candle again then 
we're going to burn our edge so I'm removing my the cello tape I used You are going to wet your hands, put the fire, just a little fire. Once you put it, it burns on its own. Then you have to even quench it because it lights up immediately. You even have to quench it sometimes because it lights up immediately you put it on the candle. So you hold it in place and, and you hold it for some seconds as, as you press it down with your hands and you can smoothen the edges with candle if it lights up you quench it so you hold it until it's until it's dried so i set my candle apart so that i don't don't end up putting fire on my dress so when you're done with that we're going to pull it push it in into the loop so we're going to stretch out the fabric to make to to set our loops in place so i'll do the same for the remaining two same thing that i have done I'll do to the remaining two two loops that are left. So you reduce by ten again. The next loop you reduce it by ten. So we're having thirty-five. They measure out thirty-five. I'm going to cut that there. So when you're done with that, you're going to put it into the loop so the next one is 25 and we are done so the next thing you're going to do you stretch stretch it out the way i'm doing and we almost done we're going to put our rope now for the waist this dress is this petticoat is so cute and beautiful and it's standing well so we're done so you have to make sure that the gathers are portioned out equally on each side the way I'm doing it now so we're done so I could I was able to get a child to put it on this is it and she wore a dress on it and this is it thank you